All right then, we got another tips video here. Plus I thought I'd just show you our uh, drying process here a little bit. We had 202 inflatables as part of our Christmas display this year. We have already dried 20. We got about 20 drying at the moment. So there's like 160 inflatables, this giant pile here. Um, and also if I show you, this is all extension cords. These, these aren't even all extension cords we use for our Christmas display. That's just some of them. It's a lot of extension cords we use. Anyways, um, so what we do, since we have so many inflatables, we just bring them all in and just throw them in a giant pile here. We're well, not throw them, but we place them gently in a giant pile and deal them later. You want to get them, you want to get them out of the elements when you're done for the year. You don't want to like just do like one decoration dry at a time in, in the garage and then put it away and then bring another one in, get them all out of the elements. So they're not getting rained on or snowed on. We just put them in a big pile in our garage here. Now, if you only have like a dozen or two decorations, you could, you know, spread them out a little bit. So uh, as the water drains off them, they're not going on top of one another. So like we have here, but if you have a lot of decorations, you don't have the room to place them individually, just put them in a big pile here like this. And you want to do, if you live in an area where it snows, uh, most likely your decorations have ice. At least some of them got ice inside of them or on the outside of them, unless you unless like the, the week before it was like in the 40s and warmer, then you might not have ice. But other than that, um, they're gonna have ice. So you wanna bring them in, wait for a day where it's like in the 40s or warmer outside, then then all the ice should melt. Make sure you, you know, if you're having the garage, go over the garage door, let the warm air in. It'll melt, it'll melt the ice. Um, then once the ice is melted, you wanna try to keep them as dry as possible because you don't want that ice, you don't wanna be like 10 degrees the next day and then all that, all that water refreezes. So um, they'll start draining, you can see like the water start draining here. And it's worse when we first start like a big puddle of water. But now that they're getting drier, it's not nearly as bad as it was. What, what we do is get a blower fan and we kinda just move it around. The blower fan uh, helps uh, dry water faster. It's just constantly blowing air, really strong air current over the water. And that helps dry things much, much faster. So I just kind of, whenever I see a big puddle, I'll just kind of move it there for an hour, dry it out, keep moving it every hour or two, ju just to make sure you dry it out as much possible. Cause you don't want these decorations laying in water. That's they're not gonna get dry that way. So you kind of dry it out that way. Right now, now that, now that I'm at the point where I'm plugging them in, dry them out, I kind of put them near there because the bottoms are really wet. The bottoms be really wet, you know, you, they're sitting in the, uh, the wet ground all day, whether they're plugged in or not. They're plugged in, all the water inside of them is now drains the bottom. And the bottoms are really wet. Um, we also get a dehumidifier. The reason is because the more humidity that's in the air, the slower water evaporates. So the, so the drier the, the air is, the faster the water evaporates. So uh, we get, a dehumidifier because when we started um, all these decorations, it was like 80% humidity in our garage. That's because it's wet outside, but also because all these decorations are just, have so much water in them, and all that water evaporates. One decoration had like three or four gallons of water in it. Seriously, it was, I could hear the water slosh around there. It was really heavy from all that water weight. So all that water evaporates, it's now in the air. <clears throat> so you get a dehumidifier, pulls the air out. We got the humidity down to, it was like 65% which is still high, but better than 80. So it helps dry out uh, the water faster if it's less humid. Now you gotta get, if you don't have to get a dehumidifier, it's more of an expensive side because you can't get those little tiny ones that are like for a bathroom. You need a, you need a big one for a, like a room, like a big garage like this. So it's kind of an expensive side. So probably don't need that unless you happen to have one or you want to get one for maybe you want to dry something else out. Um, this blower fan, if you're going to get just one, I'd get a blower fan. That works really, really well. And this one's a really good one. It's only, um, it's, I think it's $100 at Home Depot. It's not a bad deal um, if you really want to help dry them out faster. Now, again, if you only have a dozen or two or fewer inflatables, you really don't need a blower fan or the dehumidifier or anything. We just get it. We just got them because we have so many. It takes us weeks. Sometimes, I think, sometimes a month to dry them all. So we kind of want to speed up the process a bit so we're not just drying them you know for so long like get them get them put away and you know get our garage back basically so once the ice is all melted and if you, if you want it's much faster to dry them in like if you have a heated garage obviously then do the heated garage if not it's in the house much faster because it's gonna be warmer and you know obviously the warm air would melt the snow and ice and dry dry things out faster too 
And if you do in the house, if you do it on a carpet, make sure you put a plastic tarp down first. You don't want all that water draining onto your carpet. It could cause damage. It could cause mold. So um, either put a plastic tarp down first or dry it like on tile. Um, don't dry it on carpet. What you could do though, is maybe put a towel on top of the tarp, but underneath the decoration, the inflatable, that way the water, that way the towel can absorb the water and you, the inflatable is not just sitting in the water. So yeah, um, if you if you do drive in the house, also if you drive in like in a small room, you want to keep the door open because again, all that water, all that water evaporating, you don't want that high humidity in your in, in, in your house in the room that can cause problems too. Just keep the door open, let the humid air kind of flow throughout the house. If you have a dehumidifier though, and you put it in a room, then you want to keep the door closed. Then let the dehumidifier do its job of of it just um, working on that room. You don't want it working on the whole house. So just want to keep it in that room. Um, but yeah, so that's, 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 that's are those that? <laughs> Sorry. Well, there's some tips you could do for drying out your inflatables. You wanna you wanna make sure you dry your inflatables though. If you don't, you can you can damage your inflatables because yeah, the inflatables are you know maybe out in the weather, the rain and snow. That's true, but that's only for like a month, maybe two months of the year. They're not made, and not only that, they sit on top of the wet ground. They're not fully submerged in water for like a whole year. So if you're, if you put them away wet, and that water just sits on like the motor or, or the lights for a whole year till you take them out again and display them again, it could damage your motor. Not only that, it, you know, it could get a really musty smell on your decorations, which. You don't want that either, but the main thing is you're worried about the motor and lights. Um, you do want to put them away back in the box they came from. That's the easiest way to store them. You don't want to like throw away the box and store them in totes, and you can. It's just much easier and makes more sense to put them back in the box they came in. Um, not only that, if, if you do put them away slightly, wet, which you should not do, but you need, maybe you maybe you didn't realize it's still a little damp. Um, at least the cardboard can absorb some of the water, so it won't be as bad. Whereas you put them in a plastic tote, and all that, and you you missed a couple decorations. They all water, the, you know, the decorations again are going to be sitting in that water because the plastic is not going to absorb any of the water. So um, that is some tips you can do. Just make sure you bring them in as soon, bring them all in as soon as you can, so they can start. They get out of the elements. If you if you happen to have a blow a uh, blower fan or a dehumidifier, or you want to go ahead and purchase one or both, go ahead and use those. They work really really well, especially both in tandem. Um, and yeah, just wait for a warm day so all the ice melts. And you really want to make sure all the ice is melted too. Sometimes it's hard to tell there's ice in them because you might not realize it, because it, it just feels cold. You might think, oh, it's just cold because it's, it's you know, cold out here. But um, yeah, make sure the ice is melted, take care of all the water, and put them away dry. Make sure you paint decorations your rate dry. Um, in any case, that's all I gotta say for this video. See you all next time.